Hey Leos, thank you for joining me here on the Mother of Wands channel. We're going to be doing your general reading for all Leos, Sun, Moon, and Rising from February 7th to February 16th. This is a general reading, so maybe it doesn't all resonate with you. Just take what does, leave the rest, okay? And don't forget this is a co-creative effort, which means that sometimes things can be a little flip-flopped or reversed when we're talking about specific scenarios or people. So just use your intuition, let it guide you as to which way this reading is going to land for you. All right. Thank you each and every single one of you Leos as well who has been donating to the channel and booking for private readings with me. I, it's taken me a little bit while or a little while to get back to you guys. I've been getting inundated with lots of messages for new readings. So please bear with me as I am um, just wasn't expecting this great of an outpouring. So thank you so much. I appreciate again, like I said, the donations and all the likes, shares and subscribes. And I love reading you guys' comments. So feel free to leave comments down below as well. All right, let's see what's going on for Leo. February 7th through the 16th. Show me what's going on for Leo. February 7th through the 16th, please. All right, overall theme, we have the moon. Facing your deepest, darkest fears, perhaps. Let's see what else we've got. All right, maybe you guys were dealing with a Scorpio. Wow. <laughs> okay. Oh my goodness. Okay. This has got, we got three major arcana so far. So interesting. Okay. So Leo, it looks like you guys are taking a little bit of a break. You're looking at what should I do from here? Okay. So in the past, um, perhaps you're dealing with the Scorpio, but you've got the death card here. It's the eight. Um, there's a lot of major arcana speaking to me that this is a major happening going on in your life in the past and clearing out into the current future and then a little bit into the current circumstance and a little bit into the future. Okay, so in the past here, we have the death card showing up. The death card is talking about a necessary transition, taking you from one cycle to the other. Here, we're talking about the emperor reverse. Now, this could have been seriously um, a divorce, a breakup. Um, this also could be, you know, it, it could be um, also that you guys were feeling... Um, a lot of chaos, perhaps a lot of anger during this transition. Um, just a resistance, not you know, just just like feeling, feeling like why did you do this, right? Feeling this a sense of abandonment. Here we also have this, which is like a little bit obsessive energy here, um, a little bit of a workaholic, <laughs> almost even. So. You want to watch out for that. So it's like there was a transition that happened and it stirred up a lot of chaos, perhaps even in your work realm, or it pushed you into working more than you should. Like you were like, okay, I'll just avoid this situation by clocking in a little overtime or something like that. Or you just buried yourself into your studies, into your work. Okay. Um, but there was this transition that happened that's really great. Here we have also the justice. So for those of you, um, some of you guys might be dealing with a, uh, you know, a court situation, a legal matter here. Um, but also this could be talking about just being unaccountable to your action for your actions, maybe even just a little bit of dishonesty. And this could have been in it could be in this transition something that happened with your work or your love life um that just didn't feel fair it didn't feel didn't feel fair so you're like taking a time out you're like taking a break and and you're just really wanting to get down to the bottom of you know where do you go from here how do you feel from here um you know um just why why did this thing what did i do what was what was i vibrating at what level was i vibrating at that allowed this injustice to align with me that's the question i'm hearing what vibration was i vibe what what level was i vibrating at that allowed this injustice to align with me that's the sentence they're saying okay so here we have the page of wands yeah guys the page of wands coming up reverse this is a beautiful uh, message here because what this is talking about here is um, it's it's calling you into what it's saying is that you are meditating on you're giving yourself the space and the understanding here to really get clear about you you've had a lack of direction in the past you didn't know whether to go this way or that way be with this person or that person have this job or that job and you're giving yourself a time out a break to really think about really deliberate on where am i headed to from here 
And moving forward, you're going to be embodying this King of Cups energy. This could be you or another person you're dealing with. This could be a water sign, Scorpio, um, you know, Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces. And uh, this, this is talking about having a lot more balance between the head and the heart because you gave yourself this time out here at the Four of Swords. Yeah, something didn't feel very good when that transition happened. It felt unfair because it seemingly came out of nowhere and you were just like, what? Why? Why? For some of you, I'm hearing this was actually a death of a loved one. Mm -hmm. My condolences. Yeah, so some of you guys, I'm hearing that this death of a loved one happened and you were just like, this, why did this happen? This doesn't seem fair. And I know this might be for just one of you guys out there, but this death of a loved one could have been a suicide. Okay, I'm hearing. And so you're spending some time to get very clear and balanced in your emotions about how you're going to be processing that. But uh, moving forward, you're going to be into this Page of Pentacles energy, having that Page of Pentacles energy coming up. And uh, when the page is coming up reversed, it's saying, you know, that uh, you're feeling a little bit lazy. You're feeling a little bit of greed. I'm thinking that this is someone else in your environment um, that's coming in. And they're just like wanting to be able to um, get the rewards for something without putting in the time and the effort is what I'm hearing. Um and also here we have Leo, the um, Page of Swords for you, okay? And the Page of Swords, when it's coming up, it's talking about there being um, just this curiosity, this kind of restless mental energy moving forward where you're like, okay, well, what do I do next? So it sounds like you're going to be getting into a much more grounded place with your thoughts and with your emotions, but you're still not going to be quite sure about your next moves here for this week of February. Um, and it could be also because you're actually acting out of a place of this and also a place of this. Oh, but also a place of this. <laughs> um, so some of you guys are really feeling a lot of grief and hurt and pain from the past and also perhaps even like stabbing yourself with your own thoughts that aren't really in alignment with where you want to be headed. Some of you guys feel like you don't have a lot of decisions. You don't know what to do. You feel like you're missing out on something, but really the energy here is this, this energy, which is talking about diving into the underworld. Okay. The moon is coming up talking about looking at your unconscious that's driving you getting really clear. And, and also this is a beautiful card because it means that this is going to be a time period of fine tuning your intuition, especially when it's coupled here with the King of Cups. Okay. He's very discerning. He's listening. He's listening to the intuition. Okay. So they're wanting me to pull a clarifying card from this deck here. What is your message? I see you have a message. What is your message for Leo, Sun, Moon, and Rising for, thank you, February 7th through 16th? <laughs> this is a, such a beautiful spread with the moon here, especially here with the moon and this one. This is talking about the fairies. This is talking about earth magic. This is, I'm literally hearing when no one else has your back, your mother does and it's meaning mother earth that's a really beautiful message they're saying that there's all of these energies around you now this also i'm hearing for some of you all many of you actually a large portion of you your guides and your passed on relatives if some of you are dealing with someone who's passed on as well um they're here around you waiting and willing to assist you in this earth plane and they're asking for you to call out to them and, and make a request make your request known and clear what would you like help with in this period of time and they're going to be more than willing and so happy to hear from you and to be able to assist you with that. Okay. I'm hearing that there's one other message here from the Earth, or for, sorry, from the Gateway Oracle deck. What's your message for Leo, Sun, Moon, and Rising? Yes, that's exactly. <laughs> yes it's the listening with your heart card it says i trust the messages i receive from my heart like i said this is a beautiful time of heightening your intuition and really getting connected in with your guides and the spirits that are around you that are what ready and willing to assist you and with your own self your own intuition so it's really saying listen internally give yourself this energy Give yourself a lot of time to meditate and just process what you've been going through and understand that 
your higher self is ready to communicate with you now look at this card it's like the the it could be the guide it could be passed on ancestors it could be your higher self wanting to give you these messages now so just really listen in and allow yourself the time space to do that okay leo thank you so much for being here with me if you want to get a hold of me donate find me on instagram etsy or book me for a private reading it's all down in the messages below if you like this go ahead and give it a like a share subscribe leave me a comment let me know um, how this pertained to you okay so thanks so much for being here and i am singing so much bliss in your direction